Yes people, what is good? I am BA back once again with another reaction in the Fallout series. This is episode 5 of season 1 and it is called The Past. Last episode. As we already know, I absolutely loved both story arcs in the last episode, both within Vault 33 and the one with Lucy and Cooper. I still can't believe Cooper sold Lucy into slavery in the first place, knowing he was just sending her to get her organs harvested. I know he needed the vials, but why not just say to her like, look, there's guys in there with vials, there's like two of them plus a robot, why don't we just go in and shoot them and take their vials? To me, if he's willing to have a woman's organs harvested, surely he's willing to rob the keepers of the vials. But yeah, the way Lucy got out of that, again, they're just showing her to be incredibly resourceful and tactical and shit, and it's completely believable how she's getting herself out of these situations. Also, much respect to the two Raider slavers. I don't usually get give raiders or slavers any credit but those two guys fought to the death against the feral ghouls so you know much respect and i need to get the name of lucy's brother down i just wasn't expecting vault 33 to have such a big storyline this season like i said i wasn't expecting us to revisit that vault but yeah the plot is thickening because we found out at the very end of last episode that it was lucy's mother's pit boy which opened the vault 32 door to the outside i think she was dead so that raises questions as to how she died how did vault 32 get a hold of a pit boy a billion questions so yeah it just created an entire mystery which gripped me instantly the only thing we were missing last episode was catching up with maximus so i hope we see him this episode but i'm looking forward to checking it out regardless so let's go this is episode 5 of season 1 of fallout the past let's check it out and see what it's saying to it you can change the future Bring me to Moldaver. And yeah, there's an even larger mystery I'd completely forgotten about with this head still, because that phrase is stuck in my mind to this moment. Whoever, like, gets that head could control the entire wasteland. What in the fuck did that scientist know which would grant the person that amount of power? Is that the head? <laughs> And Maximus has kind of got a choice like players have in the actual games because I guess he could take the head to Moldavor and see what she gives him as a reward or he could take the head back to the Brotherhood of Steel and see what they would give him as a reward which is identical to how certain quests play out in the video games. You should brand me. I'm not officially your squire until you brand me. That's actually quite cool they're getting along to be honest. It's reminding me of Maximus's good points seeing how he interacts with his scribe. It is your most sacred duty to protect me, Knight Titus. Still lying about who he is of course, but I think if at this point he revealed himself to be someone else, this guy likes him so much now he'd probably be like, yeah cool. Oh! Fucking hell, I know I've said it before, but that branding ceremony is brutal. See the look on everyone's faces when they see us return with the target? Oh, man. Is that his plan, though? What the fuck is Maximus thinking? Before we go back to the, to the base... This is the most unsure Brotherhood of Steel Knight I have ever held in my life. Oh, he's got to tell him. No way. No way, I wasn't expecting him to just be straight up with him. We can still be friends. What did you do? How's he going to take this? He's dead. So, you and I, we, we just have to get our story straight. I mean, you didn't need to say it like such a serial killer, Maximus. You could have just said he got mauled by a Yaogwai, which is partially true. I should have known better than to trust you. Oh, don't kill him, mate. I like this squire. That was an impressive dodge. This guy has no chance fighting him in power armor though. Oh shit, unless he removes the fusion core like that, what a move. I can't believe you let you fucking brand me. Of course he would have the key to remove the fusion core. He's the guy that maintains the suit. Please, 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 no. Shit, can he not even get out of the armor if the fusion core's removed with him in it? So it becomes a tomb. That alone would make me never want to get in a set of power armor. You would think there would be some sort of emergency catch on the inside in every single suit. The fact you can just do that and entomb someone in one. Fuck that. I already wasn't a power armor user in the games. That has just made them even shitter in my eyes, okay? 
I mean, could rad roaches even penetrate power armor? I know they're probing for weaknesses, but I just don't think there is one. I know they've got them tubes on the neck. That might open a release or something. I'll take it Cooper's found him then. Oh shit! Look at that! Me mistaking Lucy for Cooper because of the badass shooting. Holy shit, she is getting acquainted to this world quickly. <laughs> That rad roach caught an absolute gangland beating. <laughs> how the fuck does Lucy know how to operate power armor? They don't have none of that shit down in the vaults. Someone stole my fusion quick, please. Can you please let me out? He looks like he's getting incredibly dehydrated in there, as you would. I remember that uh, man I left with. Hey, I'm looking for his head. You know what's fucked? Lucy at this point will trust Maximus way more than she does Cooper, even though I personally, and from what we've seen as the audience, I think we'd agree that so far, Cooper seems actually more trustworthy. Kinda than Maximus. I mean, he's dead selling into slavery, but he was straight up about it. You don't get this medicine, you're gonna pass out. And if you lose consciousness, we're both gonna die. He's good at talking his way out of a pickle, Maximus. He's very believable. I'm Knight Titus. Oh for fuck's sake. He had such a big moment there to begin an honest relationship with her and right off the bat he's just bullshitting. And I don't like this team up because I don't fully trust Maximus. Obviously he's less of a threat when he doesn't have the Superman suit on of course. I've seen these in old engineering manuals but never in real life. Ah right, so there was manuals about them down in the vault. Okay, that checks out, fair play. I would read all about them in the vault manuals as well if I was born in a fucking boring vault. Oh thank god we're getting more of this. I've been thinking about this storyline all week. I wanna check one more thing. Can't we just go home? This guy's playing the role of the child in the investigation movie who doesn't want to go with the rest of the gang into the haunted house. So they were desperately trying to escape. It looks like they were trying to get into 31. Oh, Vault 31 is the real mystery. What the fuck is in Vault 31? Man, this shit has got me gripped. If anybody asks where we were, I'll have a heart attack. Such a mad juxtaposition between vaults as well, from their beautiful crops and well-maintained gardens to the just desolate crops in the other one. We've been planting potatoes. Tato One of the most disgusting fake vegetables in the Fallout universe. I think it's like a weird evolution between the potato and the tomato, but where that could potentially be a nice combination, it's like a soft tomato, but inside it's like a brown mush. So imagine like a potato with tomato consistency. That's what a tato is. It sounds fucking disgusting. I wouldn't have believed them if they'd have said they were planting potatoes either. What did you think was in them? Monsters. <laughs> That's what people say. Is that a clue? Why would people say there's monsters in the vaults? I've got to go after him. Good luck. Oh, don't do it, Lucy. You guys have more of those T-60s? Yeah. And guns? No way. Is Lucy going to join the Brotherhood of Steel? That would be fucking amazing. We travel together. We use my tracker to catch up to your squire, get the head. The squire took the head as well, shit. I thought he only got away with a fusion core. That guy got away with all the important shit. And I'm from a place where the worst someone can do to you is forget to say thank you. Welcome to the real world, you pampered little fuck. I just hope Maximus doesn't snake Lucy in any way. He's still obviously got his own intentions. I feel like he will be at least a team player until he gets the fusion core back. But when he gets back inside that power armor, all bets are off again. Today is about the future of our vault, and more importantly, the future of civilization. So I didn't recognize any of the candidates on the board there. It must be all the old council members. I'm gonna vote for Betty. I got that impression. Yeah, don't talk about who you vote for. That only ever causes beef. Oh, who am I kidding? Which one is Betty? Is that the woman who plays the blind lady in Deadpool? 
I know about the Great War and the 320 years of American history before then. I just need help with the last 200 years. It's a simple enough question with an incredibly long answer. We're naive down there. Till I was six, I really thought that the big light in our farm was the sun. Oh, I noticed that the damage she had on the left arm has now been repaired, so we've got a bit of patchwork. So instead of suit deterioration, we're now getting suit reparation. Okay, interval trades. So it will be very fascinating to see what comes out of or into 31. What the fuck? So every single overseer at Vault 33 has been a person sent from Vault 31. Betty Pearson has been elected Vault Overseer. That woman is some sort of insider in whatever program or project or whatever's going on in Vault 31. Man, I was talking about Lucy's brother killing them before I found this out. Now it would be justified if he killed them. Go on, say something. Give her some shade, go on. Drop a little hint. What the fuck? She didn't even look human with that stare. Synths were a big part of Fallout 4. I didn't expect them to potentially be in this show, but now that I know that every single overseer in Vault 33 has been sent from Vault 31, I'm starting to wonder if they are synths or clones or something. We're just gonna walk on by. That okay with you? Give me your gun. No, let Lucy keep it. She's an amazing shot. What's happening over there? Yeah, we're just being careful. You can come on through. And this is the level of paranoia you would have encountering anybody you came across in a world like this. Why don't we all take a deep breath? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Five episodes in, the contrast between a vault dweller and a wastelander is still incredibly hilarious. Now I'm suspicious those other people are planning to rob Lucy and Maximus here. They seem to be standing their ground. This is ridiculous but also brilliant. Uh, she looks like a jet addict first of all so they might be planning on robbing them. And that dude looks like a raider as well, or a junkie, so yeah, this might be a situation where it's gonna get dangerous in a second. Gross. Holy shit! Well there was me saying Lucy's a good shot, but her naivety makes it a bit slow on the draw. As soon as that woman sized up a pit boy, we knew it was beef. What's a fiend? people who eat people. Oh shit, fiends are in this from New Vegas. They were like a branch off radar gang. You've been shot. It's just a scratch. It happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Maximus had main character energy when he said that there. Ah, better luck next time, Woody. I would have voted for you, man. You ran a great campaign. I know. Must have put 10 posters up. Damn, that's a lot of posters as well for the vault. Woody worked hard. Now the other question is, the conspiracy has got to be more than just that woman because she won the vote. So are all the people voting or the people trying to influence votes also in some way connected to Vault 31? Uh, I voted for Betty. He's saying that like he's literally mind controlled. That's twice he said it with the exact same tone. By all accounts, Vault 31 has more resources, better education system, and... I guess that opens the slight door of possibility to the fact it is due to them being a superior vault, but I genuinely think there is something strange going on in Vault 31. Seems a bit suspect to me. Steph, I actually was just heading out. We'll uh, pick this up later. Hey, sure. It's gonna be hard to top the first time, really, after the finger waterfall. Maybe the mashed potatoes were a little better? That is what my dad used to say. Must be true then. She 
as well now seems a little bit brainwashed. Am I just tripping and looking into this brainwash theory too much? I'm studying them all so closely now. I don't trust any of these fucks anymore except Lucy's brother and the cousin. Because you know, they got things to fight for. Lucy's brother's trying to find his dad and uh, Lucy's cousin's chasing that cousin for JJ. Shady Sands. Yo, this is New Vegas. Why? No way. The NCR. That's so cool. They're in this show. Purpose of my vault was to come up to the surface one day and, and restart civilization. It, it's it's reclamation day. It's what keeps us all going. And another nod to the video games. That's how Fallout 76 starts. Well, if it makes you feel any better, it didn't work out. To be fair, it's easy to make fun of Lucy for her naivety, but that would be heartbreaking to feel like, you know, the whole life's mission you'd been working towards was just all for nothing. By the way, I'm starting to dislike the structure of this episode. Is this going to be a Cooperless episode by any chance? Are we missing out one character each episode for the next few episodes or something? Wow. That is ground zero right there. Absolute chaos. Titus. This is more than just a graze. We have to get you something. Oh, side quest, find a stim pack for Maximus. Activated. <laughs> Hawthorne Medical Laboratories. That doesn't sound like a regular hospital. That sounds like some experimental shit. And there's a Voltec logo. That's always a terrible sign. At least go with her, Maximus. Thank you, no matter what's in there, you have a better chance together. That's a really cool light designing effect, making it almost like a, a path leading him towards that door. This building looks so fucking dodgy. I don't know how far ahead Lucy got, but she should have hung back a little bit. A fake fucking hallway? What the fuck? Well, I don't know where Maximus and Lucy have just gone, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna be good. I am announcing a resettling campaign. Some of us will stay home to rebuild 33. That actually makes sense, you know, because it's additional space and if they can regrow the crops and get the facilities working again, why not reuse that space? I thought she was going to say something horrible in that speech. That's actually a cool idea. I'm sure she's got some evil fucking plan behind it all, but on the surface, it seems like a cool idea. Yeah. Be a bit shit having to be the person to clean up that one. Lonely. And that one. Yeah. Uh, that one. Three democracies and three volts. Separate. Great job cleaning up. The Raiders destroyed so much, but not our spirits. Yeah, do not trust this woman one bit anymore. Vault 31 is fucking suspect. When my mother died, what happened to her pit boy? It was buried with her. So if he digs up his mother's grave and the pit boy is not on her, that is full evidence that this woman is full of shit. I hope his father isn't from Vault 31. Where the fuck have they been taken? This is not going to be good. This has got one of these shady company experiments written all over it, like a hallucinogen or a vault tech or something like that. They're in the best place in the world. They're in a vault? What vault is it? I couldn't see the number on the person's back. I swear they purposely did that because they knew people would see the reflections. One person walked past there and you could see his back in the reflection on the window. But it was either a one or they literally put him in a vault suit without a number just so they would keep us guessing as to what vault they were exactly in. Okay, and that was episode 5 of season 1 of Fallout The Past. And I will be back in just a minute with my thoughts on that.
So the past, what did I think of that? I've got to say, I really liked how, you know, the last two episodes they've taken one of the primary characters out because it's allowed us to focus a bit more time on just like two story strands, which gives you a lot more screen time to really work them and build them up in different ways. Now, straight off the bat, I did miss Cooper not being in this episode, just like I missed Maximus not being in the last episode, but that being said, the two storylines they did focus on were brilliant. First, we got Lucy teaming up with Maximus after Maximus revealed his true self to his squire and then tried to attack him in the power armor and after seeing him squish that dude's head like a grape a few episodes ago I expected that squire to be dead on sight but he was savvy as fuck dodged the attack and then deactivated the fusion core with a key and pulled it out the back, fully deactivating the power armor. And I'm happy that Squire survived, man, because he's a nice character, and he's savvy as fuck. He even got away with the head as well, so he is now the person that Maximus and Lucy are tracking. And I liked that scene where they both had their hands up, and the other set of people had their hands up, and they were trying to cross the bridge peacefully. And to be honest, it would have been almost comic genius if that scene had to just played out with these two sets of people coming to that agreement and passing the bridge peacefully, and then going about their journeys at the other side but I didn't mind that it went with the other route and also we got to see some fiends in the show which I wasn't expecting them to use. This episode basically pulled it out the bag that it's using a lot of new Vegas lore. You know, we saw the NCR billboard earlier on, and then we got fiends who are specifically a raider gang you only encounter in the new Vegas games. And it's cool to see because there's a large portion of Fallout fans who are what you would call, I guess, like new Vegas hardcores, where they hate on everything Bethesda does, and they think Fallout 3's shit, they think New Vegas is great, they think Fallout 4's shit, and they think Fallout 76's shit, and they also like the original 1 and 2. So you get a portion of the Fallout fan base who's specifically have that in their minds that every single one that Bethesda has done has been terrible and every single one handled by other companies has been great and Obsidian did New Vegas and I believe it was Interplay or some other company that did the original two Fallout games and you know it's not too dissimilar from Game of Thrones fans hating season 8 or all the Star Wars fans hating anything that is done nowadays because they want to hate the entire regime of it and the truth is that some of the best elements of Game of Thrones were created by those two show creators and not George R. R. Martin. Some of the best stuff in the entirety of Game of Thrones was when the Hound and Arya hung about together and went on adventures and most of that shit was created for the show. But they don't want to talk about that, they want to talk about the things the show creators got wrong. And I guess it's just a negative mindset, so I try and look for the positives and everything. And to me, Fallout 3 was both a groundbreaking and incredible game, which literally gave me a feeling of exploration and adventure that I'd never experienced in a video game before. I was astounded at its level of depth, just from a game engine perspective, let alone the world that it built around it. But all that out of the way, my whole point was like, I basically, like them all, I thought Fallout 4 was a step back though, even though it improved the physics, I just didn't enjoy the world as much, I would say, as previous Fallouts. And then Fallout 76, I just didn't really enjoy it because it had all these mechanics built into it so that you know you went on every day and did your dailies and all this bullshit and it took away from an element of the Fallout games which I liked which was like you set your own pace sometimes you just take your time and chill etc and uh, to get everything you wanted to get in Fallout 76 you basically had to do a bit of grinding so it sort of gave you a path to walk and I prefer it when you're walking your own path if that makes sense. But yeah, New Vegas is an incredible Fallout game all that being said and I really love that they're bringing elements of New Vegas into this show. And man, this Vault 33 shit is just getting so intriguing. So now the mystery trails back to Vault 31 and I'm thinking about it. So we've got this triangle and to me it almost seems like a class system test or something. You know, thinking about it, because think about it, right? All the overseers are coming from 31 and they are getting elected into 33. So it seems like 31 is the prestigious superior upper class. 32 is the functioning, maintaining, happy enough middle class. And Vault 32 is the like destructive lower class. So I'm trying to, in my head, put together a puzzle, but there's got to be some reason 
There's a distinct difference in living conditions between those three vaults. But what's interesting is, now that this new overseer woman has announced that they're going to repopulate Vault 32, I guess we'll see one way or another whether or not my theory is correct, because if in some way it is designed so that Vault 32 will always suffer, we'll see some of the characters we like now maybe suffering or seeing it happen because I'm assuming some of the people we know will be designated as residents when Vault 32 gets repopulated. And I really don't know how to take that end scene, I guess we'll find out how good or bad it is next episode but I'm trying to put the pieces together of that as well and so we've got what is on the outside a medical facility which people will obviously try and search for medical supplies. If there was gonna be a setup in a building like that, you would assume it would be raiders or other people knowingly preying on, you know, wounded people hoping to find aid within the building, but it was much deeper than that. It was a designed fake hallway, so you'd get trapped into a door, so the whole building sort of filed you to this door, and then beyond that door was a fake door and fake painted hallway beyond that. The door behind you locks, you get pulled down into this vault. So this vault has essentially a human trapping system in the above wasteland, which is an incredibly strange feature for any vault to have. And then they land inside it, they're on gurneys, they're safe, they seem to be in what is an enclosed room that they're not able to freely walk out of, but again we'll find that out next episode, but when they look through the window the vault did look incredibly peaceful and regularly populated. So why the fuck would this peaceful, regularly populated vault have a human trapping system in a hospital above ground directly above it? It's an incredibly interesting setup, I'll give it that. I cannot wait for next week's episode now and I have to wait seven fucking days just because of how these reactions work. That is so annoying. But yeah, this show has officially gotten brilliant. I'm so hooked on it and I'm so proud that all the people involved did the video games, thus far at least, justice by making this show great. If you've liked this video, click like, subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this, ring the bell to be notified as to when they drop. If there's anything you want to talk about, comment down below and share these videos around to anyone you think might appreciate it or want to watch these reactions along with us. My Patreon link is down in the description. If you become a patron, you get access to my blog, you get access to these reactions I put on YouTube a month and a half in advance and you also get access to full-length versions of everything I react to. So consider becoming a patron, it helps me and my channel out so much. And until next time, I have been BA. Peace.